Hi guys, welcome back to the Cat Baker Show, the longest running podcast in the world and the number one podcast in the Philippines, hosted by I, Cat Baker, but the number one person in the UK. Um, today, we are joined by the Queen of Scotland, Lana Wolf. Hi! <laughs> so Lana, how would you describe what you do? How would I describe what I do? Mm. Um, I'm an OnlyFans bird. Yeah. <laughs> But I have uh, recently delved into professional professional scenes as well. Right, yes, um, yeah. With the hopes of doing some more of that. Mm-hmm. But I guess I'm a content creator. Like, yeah. I do TikTok and YouTube too. Yeah. Uh, but mostly OnlyFans is the breadwinner. Yeah, I mean, mostly I've seen you sort of berating house slaves oh online. yeah okay yeah, yeah. so yeah. i guess i'm a dominatrix like, yeah you are but the thing yeah. is is that right so when you say you know what do you do i, mm. I the, the how i answered was mm. like my job mm. but the dominatrix bit is mm. actually a lifestyle so i don't actually ah. do that for money per se really? so like all of the house slaves that mm. i have they come over and it's completely like a free Thing. right so like i don't get paid to do that like I, well I, I guess in a roundabout way i might get paid like via the only fans and the yeah, yeah 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 and the kind of the social media aspect of it but yeah that's just very much a lifestyle how, how that many I'm in. do you have <laughs> well <laughs> i've got three that i see like on a regular basis so mm-hmm. it's like normally it's on like a fortnightly yeah basis so like they'll come over for you know an evening um like three four hours yeah like but every every uh well two of them it's every two weeks one of them i see all the time um because they're my slave driver so i don't drive so i can't drive a car like i've I've always been too scared to do it and (laughs) i've just never ever done it like it's never ever been something that i wanted to do Mm. um i'm a passenger princess you know some people are meant to be driven i totally agree yeah yeah so uh, i do have uh probably my main slave yeah yeah who drives me everywhere so like i'll literally be like i need to go to the airport for 6 a.m you need to come and get me so they'll literally drive like an hour from their house to my house to then get me to the airport and then they'll drive back like in the middle of the night that is it's great (laughs) so do you think it's fair to say you are the queen of scotland then i would say yes yeah yeah i would say so i think i've certainly the queen of um only fans yeah. Scotland. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's anyone else that. I mean, I'm sure there are other girls that do OnlyFans, but I don't think there's anyone quite on the same level. Yeah. <laughs> I would say I'm like the queen of um, Hertfordshire, maybe? Yeah. 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 And the Philippines. And the Philippines. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. My huge Filipino audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I am the queen of the Philippines. Do you know, I'm actually quite big in Vietnam. Oh, really? Yeah, so at one point in 2021, (laughs) I went viral for getting my boobs out on a train. Oh, Uh, yeah. You know, (laughs) shout out to the OGs that will know this story. But um, I was going down to London, actually, Mm -hmm. on a train from Scotland with the Tartan Army to support scotland in the euros in 2021 i got my boobs out just randomly like yeah for a photo you know these guys were like oh lana like yeah 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 come get a photo with us so i just you know (laughs) got the girls out and this photo and uh, right bearing in mind i hadn't even got to my destination yet Mm. i had no makeup on i looked disgusting (laughs) i was like half cut because i've been drinking on the train Mm. with a pal and um i looked disgusting just randomly got my tits out and then this photo went viral but i mean like worldwide so like i was on the news and like Finland, like Vietnam, like all these random places. Not on Twitter. Like, no, like on the te- television. What? Yeah, like I, so, like I was getting sent on Instagram. Oh, like like the guy who had the flare in his butt for the <laughs> like. So you were like the female version of that. I, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> during the Euros, there was a English Euros, guy with the yeah. flare in his butt that was that went viral. So you were like, the yeah, Scottish but yeah, I, yeah. I remember it was a crazy time for me. Like people were sending me like. Po- like uh, podcasts in different languages that people were speaking about oh my god like the the, the, the boob picture yeah. and uh yeah i was on the news in vietnam i remember i had like a huge influx of followers from vietnam like all <laughs> messaging me in vietnamese and i was like well it's nice to know i'm big in vietnam yeah <laughs> so yeah i mean have you been there no 
I'd love to go though. Apparently yeah. the 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 atmosphere in the city is like amazing. You were I just, just in went Thailand. To, I was in yeah. Thailand, yeah. and everyone was saying if you like Bangkok, which I did, because a lot of people bitch about Bangkok, but I thought Bangkok had a really cool fetish scene. Oh, I did a bit of shibari content. Okay, you know, did yeah. You see when I got tied up in yeah. ropes. Um, they said if you really like Bangkok, then you should try Vietnam. Oh, okay. And their main city, I can't remember what it's called, but mm. apparently it's really nice. So yeah, maybe another another time. Yes. Another time. Vietnam, she'll be coming. <laughs> yes. You'll know. <laughs> so, what do you call your house slaves? What do I call them? Well, I call them pet gimps because okay. I was trying to think of a word that I could say on social media that wouldn't get me shadow banned. Obviously, right, yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. normally I call them like slave and their name. So, mm. to their face, and when I save them on my phone and stuff, it's mm. always. You know, slave David, slave Andy, slave mm. Barry, slave Jack. Mm. Um, and then on OnlyFans, it's the same. I'll always call them slave in their name. But then obviously I thought, I don't know if slave was going to get me shadow banned. So yeah. I like changed it to pet gimps. <laughs> but then because I, I thought gimp would be like a bit softer. And obviously in mm. Scotland as well, like you call anything a gimp, like you fucking gimp. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he's acting like such a gimp. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't, it seems more like. Of a softer word. Did I didn't you, know if I was going to get Did you see the but... Somerset gimp? That <laughs> gimp that like, that gimp. He, he was like, he was like on the news and he was like, this guy who's going around dressed as a gimp and he was like running around, but he was like scaring people. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like in Somerset. <laughs> and like the headline was like, Somerset gimp arrested. I'll insert, insert the <laughs> here of the Somerset gimp. Um, Do you know who's given me serious gimp vibes recently? Who? Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye West, come on, man. Yeah, literally kicking about in a full black outfit and the mask, mm. getting his girlfriend to dress all sexy dominatrix. So he's just, definitely giving me gimp vibes, and I can tell a gimp when I see one. What? What gives you gimp vibes? <laughs> do, you, do you like sense that in a person? Like, how do you? I mean, I've never met Kanye West. He, right, right. He's, he definitely tries to give off like the bigger bravado, but yeah. maybe that's overcompensating for some, mm. you know, gimpy bedroom habits. Mm. Um, we never know, and we probably will never know. But mm. um, I don't know. I feel like I normally can tell a gimp just because they will be, I guess, a little bit simpy. Like, so if I meet somebody. Mm. and they're just very keen to like i mean there's gentlemanly but then there's really gentlemanly and like mm. calling me miss like milady mm, yeah milady or like miss and mm. yes miss and mm. things like that like they like to give subtle hints the, mm. that they're a gimp and then yeah. i can obviously they exploit that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yours yours have like a football twist right yeah so <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm a Rangers fan. Right. Uh, and I guess the first time that I started getting big in Scotland and when I went viral for the mm. first time was because I did a video where I was in a full Rangers kit and I pegged a slave that was in a Celtic kit. <laughs> And the mm-hmm. timing was perfect because mm. Rangers were on a winning streak. Like it was the, we hadn't won the <laughs> the SPFL Premier, like the Scottish Prem right. basically. We hadn't, we hadn't won it for like so long. Mm. Celtic were about to get 10 in a row mm. and we stopped their 10 in a row by getting Rangers 55. So okay. we so we won. So it was like amazing time and that obviously wasn't planned or anything like that. Like I literally just came up with the idea. Like I've always been a Rangers fan. Yeah. I came up with the idea. Like I'd been doing OnlyFans for maybe a year or so mm. and I thought, oh my God, I, I have to peg a Celtic fan. <laughs> and then it just so happened to be like the perfect mm. timing and the perfect storm essentially mm. um and it went really viral well for me so yeah i guess i was like one of the first football girls yes uh, there are millions of them now would you like to tell <laughs> millions <laughs> would you like to tell them who is the queen of football only fans uh yeah. well i i'm definitely the original football dom okay um i'm not sure if anyone else has actually done the the football domination right. but yeah i was definitely i'm mm. definitely the original in the first but yeah so every single old firm mm. so the old firm is the big ri- rivalry between rangers and celtic mm-hmm. and uh it's it's renowned like everybody knows like that rangers and celtic have the biggest most serious rivalry you know probably in europe mm-hmm. um uh, well, the world potentially because right. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, I think football's 
bigger than like, bigger in Europe anyway. Yeah. So, so it was the, it was really the perfect um, most humiliating like thing that I could do like <laughs> to my rival team, <laughs> and uh, I I really feel like you know it may be spurred the team on yes. that year to to so basically I'm the reason that Rangers won. Oh, um, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. yeah. So I am the reason. I'm, the, I'm also the reason why a lot of good things happen in the world, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. We have that in common then. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. Um, but but yeah. yeah, so, okay, sorry, I'm, I, I, I don't normally do podcasts, so I'm kind of rambling on. No, no, no. But, um, this, that's what a, podcast is, a podcast is for rambling. That's what we're here to do. And we're I'm a bit conscious of my Crocs in shot now. Yeah. I thought I was being so slick. I thought, do you know what? No one's going to see down there. I'll be, you know, maybe knee up. So I've got, you know, the, I think the, 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 the cleavage top, but... The Crocs are important to show that you, <laughs> even though you're a dom, you're also humble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a humble dom. Mate, I've had, I've had, I've had slaves uh, worship my Crocs before. You don't have to be wearing a high-heeled boot to get worshipped. Well, I have done OnlyFans content in Crocs. <laughs> you was, have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I need to mix you it up. You can keep your Crocs yeah, on. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I was like, the thing is, though, no one liked it or enjoyed it or asked for it. But I said, you know what? I'm going to get naked and pose in some Crocs. And you lot are going to fucking enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and... <laughs> But I bet I they found they that did. sexier because it's just that confidence of, do you know yeah, what? Yeah, true. I'm going to make this sexy. So yes. you all have a kink for this now. I have yeah. decided. When did you start OnlyFans then? Um, so I was actually a stripper first. Okay, yeah. So I was a, I was always a stripper um, ever since I was like 18. Mm. Cam girl a little bit, and but mostly stripper. Yeah. And I stripped in Magaluf, Tenerife, oh um, and New York. New York was probably the big... Wait, which was the best one to strip it in, do you think, out of all those? Um, I mean, New York was a great experience because it's New York. Uh, mm. The strip clubs are run very differently, a bit stricter oh God, and a bit they, like... Are they run by the mafia? I think they're all run by the mafia, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's like really weird. Like you feel very anonymous in a New York strip club because there's so many girls from all over the world that just come and go. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Magaluf, because I was living in Magaluf, everyone was British. Mm. I was in the same club with the same girls all mm. year, well, all summer. Mm. Um, I probably had a better time as far as like, I had friends and I had yeah. a community. Awesome New York was yeah. awesome because I got to be in New York and I was mm. solo and mm. anonymous. So I could... Mm in a sense, do whatever I wanted. But, you know, and obviously met friends along the way and sugar daddies. I mean, I think most, <laughs> most people are like, oh, only fans, it's like encouraging girls to do more sex work. But I was like, but everyone I know, including myself and other only fans, they were all doing sex work like before only fans. It, it seemed so. like the natural um, progression. Mm. But I remember actually there was a time after I stripped mm. Uh, that I went back to a normal job and get this I was working for a Christian organization so I would oh my God. pray with my Christian organization before work in the morning what was the organization doing a charity that helps homeless people right. in Scotland I won't name it but yeah, <laughs> people could probably work it out but they would literally make you do like a morning prayer but then at the weekend I was going to the strip club Get at the weekend. Now. Yeah, so, and they had no idea. So I had this, like, double life. <laughs> and then when OnlyFans started getting big, mm. I obviously got myself on that. Mm. And then I bought my first property. And as soon as I got the keys to my flat, I was like, well, I have, like, this security now. So I ended up quitting the, the Christian yeah. organization. Because I, I thought, you know, I obviously tried to go back into, like, a normal nine-to-five job. And I'm still doing the fucking stripping and the only fans on the side. So I was like, I obviously just want to do that. Mm. And then what happens? Lockdown hit. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, I've quit my job. I can't get furlough. Mm. But luckily I was in the right place at the right time. And mm. when only fans kind of blew up and then, mm. you know, I did the, the viral football idea. And then, yeah, I, before long, I was like, absolutely fine. Like I was set. Yeah. And then, yeah, fast forward two years, I bought, Wolf Manor, which is the five bedroom converted church that you see in all my, oh my God. content. And, and that's it up in Scotland, right? It is. So how does a gimp get invited to Wolf Manor for the gimps at home? <laughs> Do you know this be... is probably my most asked question? Really? Like if you go on any of my like my OnlyFans messages, my Twitter messages, Instagram messages, 
everybody wants to come to Wolf Manor. And the thing is, it's like the number one rule of like meets, if you whether you escort or mm. dom, is you never invite people into your own home mm. because it's just a recipe for disaster. Mm. Which is why for me it has to be a lifestyle thing. It can't be mm. a work thing. Mm. So unfortunately, it has it is invite only. Like it yeah. is very kind of it's like an exclusive club. Like you gotta be like friends. Uh, yeah, 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 like so. Uh, uh, most of the slaves that I see, I've met through other sex workers they've mm. kind of ref- given me references um or i've just really thought they were funny yeah so like one of so actually th- there's a guy oh i don't know if i should even i'm fine i'll tell you <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> there's a guy that actually works with me now mm-hmm. um he's a comedian but <sighs> he started off as a slave Oh. But I just really, really thought he was great. Like, I just mm. thought he was brilliant. And I was like, oh, my God, I need you to be in my life. And then they were sort of like a slave. But now they're not really a slave anymore. But, yeah, mm. they're still, like, very much part of the Wolf Manor family. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I've got loads of people doing different things for me. And yeah. Do you call them, like, your wolf pups or not? <laughs> no. Well, I, I, I call... I, 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 Sorry, I'm star. Mm. Um, sometimes I call them the wolf pack. Okay. So I'm the alpha wolf, obviously, and yeah. everyone else is my betas. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm like, oh no, actually, the other day I thought I said I was an alpha. I think I'm an alpha. But yeah. I could also maybe be sigma. I don't know. <laughs> but I think I'm a. I think I'm a. Yeah, an alpha. Uh, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. We agreed yeah. On yeah. Time, yes, we? I'm an alpha. We agreed on that yeah, last time, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Yes. He is paid to agree with me. Wow. Mm. Oh, I was going to say, we'll, <laughs> we'll, find out, we'll find out in the hotel after the podcast. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can, will uh, I become we can see the beta? If she's on top. Yeah, we will have to see that, won't we? Um, I have a challenge for you. Oh, dear. Because you are the Dom Queen of Scotland, mm-hmm. okay? I thought that the peop- the gimps and the simps at home, okay, they want to be humiliated by you, okay? And I'll, I'll do a bit of humiliating as well of of you beta cut bitches that are there. And mm. I thought maybe you could, like, humiliate them for some, like, basic tasks that they haven't done. <laughs> right. So I wondered if you could maybe... What we'll do here, if you could maybe talk into the camera... And maybe give the audience at home a telling off because, unfortunately, they've got to take the bins out and the bins didn't get collected. Okay, so I'm talking oh, to so one of my slaves and they have forgotten to take the bins out. Yes. And they need punished. Yeah. They and need a right telling off. Quickly. Who the fuck do you think you are? Do you think you can just waltz into Wolf Manor and forget to take the fucking bins out? What do you think I have you here for? What is the point of having you here if you're not going to be any use to me and do as you're fucking told? Get on the floor now. That's it. Fucking (laughs) beg for my forgiveness. Slave. Worthless. I'm going to make you eat the fucking trash (laughs) out of the bin for that insolence. Yeah, you won't be forgetting that anytime soon, will you? (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. Perfect. (laughs) Right. (laughs) <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I felt like I was about to get on the floor. Yeah. Like, oh. Eat my fucking crop. <laughs> right, I'm going to do one now. Okay. So come to me, camera. Right. So <laughs> this. Right, so someone, a little pathetic loser, right, was answering their work emails. And they replied to the work email to reply all instead of reply to sender. And now (laughs) these people have just sent an unnecessary email to everyone in their office that no one needed to read. So this is what I've got to say to you. Um, Okay, let me get in. Let me get in. My Dom vibes. Okay. Right, okay. You pathetic little weasel. I cannot believe you are so stupid that you said reply all instead of reply to sender is your eyesight as bad as your penis because your penis must be terrible if you 
can't even send the right email to the right person. You you need to shut up and wank in the corner or something because that is awful. How dare you? You need to shut up and um, um, you need to think before you reply. You beta cuck bitch. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, yeah inspiring. I, <laughs> I think, yeah. I think, yeah. I think I... You just need a little bit more of an aggressive tone. Right, maybe. okay, yeah. You know, because they need to know that you really mean business. Yeah. It's like talking to a dog. Even just the, yeah. the the tone of your voice, they need to be like... Yeah, that's... You know, yeah. Just, uh, it's fine. Okay. Right. You're, you're well, almost there. Well, I next time someone... Fucks up. And <laughs> I'm gonna really go to town. On yeah, them. yeah. <laughs> like and any, it, just anyone in the street. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just practicing. Yeah, my if life. someone if someone forgets to thank the bus driver, yeah. they better be wary because I'm oh, gonna yeah. be there around the corner, <sighs> shaking my fist. God, I, I don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, just uh, you know. But so yeah, hopefully everyone that's just orgasmed <laughs> can still can still focus on the podcast and we've got some very important topics to discuss including dick ratings oh so do you get right i would say the number one thing i get requests is dick ratings yeah is, is yours the same dick ratings and custom videos yeah what do, what is it about dick rate why is dick rating such a popular thing why do you think that is well i think because I think because they know it's definitely a custom video like for them. Mm. So um, unless you're doing an actual custom video where you say their name and stuff mm. like a, a dick rate, you know, you might you might even say their mm. name and then you'll describe the photo that they've sent you. So mm. they know that you're looking at them. I don't really get the fascination with men you know, like, because they send dick pics to anyone anyway, right? Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. even before I did OnlyFans, my inbox was full mm. of dick pics. That, I don't really get, because women, we don't do that. Like, we don't send pictures of our fanny flaps oh, well, to, like, oh, oh, oh well, oh. okay, I shouldn't have spoken for yeah. all females. But yeah. oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? Like, okay, the girls watching will know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, men have this obsession with women seeing mm. how big and pointy it is. Mm. So I guess they just want the, I don't know, validation. I think a lot, I feel like a lot are also like, they're like just insecure. They want to know it's normal. I have some of those as well. Mm. I think they're a bit like... Hmm tell me what it's like like is it like is it okay i get the opposite i'm like bully me mistress tell me how small it is <laughs> i get i get all across the scale so i think i get like i get a bit of bullying mm. and then i get some who i think just want to know like it's okay and normal and then others where it's like they want to show off and you just be like mm, mm. big big willy i just mm. get a lot of like they just want an honest dick rate where mm. I, I mean I, my dick rates are quite good because mm. i'll they're quite long for starters and i really do just grow into all the details of everything mm. on the photo because i want them to know like it's not just a you know like a generic thing that i say to everyone like it is really tailored to them like mm. I, for me there's no point in doing a custom video unless you're going to make it really custom and yeah. personalized so you say i that's what i do yeah. but i'll never i'll never just say like oh yeah it's fine it's great if it's not i'm very yeah. honest like i've said to people before you know it's great like the size is there the length is there but mate you have to shave those pubes mm. like <laughs> so like, like i would not go i would not suck it if the pubes were like that so get it trimmed and then you can send me a new photo and then you can pay for another dick rate and i'll rate it again once you've improved so you're giving life advice as yeah, well yeah yeah, yeah. Oh my but God. honestly yeah. i'm not sure what it is but i think guys they love even the honesty right see mm. I, I honestly think that makes them come harder Mm. Like they, they love a little bit of truth, and but you'll really go in. So you'll you'll really describe like a vein. You'll be like, look that vein. You point yeah. them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah I will. I'll describe deep. everything. Yeah. It's like sometimes even if I see stuff in the background, like you know, I'm like, mate, you should probably tidy up your bedroom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but like next time, I have actually before. said that to someone before. I was like, look, it's yeah, it's all right, but 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 look, maybe like just give you 
I think you need to sweep your carpet. Like, <laughs> is it? Like, it is a bit. You know. I always try to find. Obviously, I don't want to just be completely negative unless they've asked mm. for it. So mm. I'll always try to find things that are really good, mm. and then maybe like one thing that isn't mm. perfect because I think they want honesty and they yeah. want a bit of truth. So. Yeah, it's no fun if you're just going to be like, oh my God, it's 10 out of 10. It's so yeah. big and I just want to fuck it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think if they ask for an honest rating, they want something mm. to improve on. Maybe it goes back to what you were saying, that they kind of want like advice or they want to know that it looks good or it's okay or something. Yeah, Maybe. they're like, what's my cock like? And then they're like, what career should I go into? <laughs> career advice. <I'm> like, <laughs> Administration. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> so I thought we are going to rate some cocks now. Oh, fantastic! So I've got a line of ten men outside <laughs> who are about to walk in, <laughs> and we're going to rate them. No, I've actually got some celebrity cocks. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if I've seen them before. Oh, <laughs> ooh! <laughs> I think these you might have. Oh, yeah. I've heard that these men do tend to slide into DMs. Oh so. no. Right, we are going to rate some cocks. So, the first one that I have is Homer Simpson. How would you rate Homer Simpson's cock, Lana Wolf? (laughs) So, how do you want me to do it? So, do you want me to say, like, pretend like Homer's just sent me it? Um... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is an honest, honest, an honest rating, rating okay. for Homer Simpson. He's yeah, he has sent this to you. I'd say, well, Homer, I have to, I have to rate the confidence that you have mm-hmm. to send me not only your cock, but your stomach, your face, your arms, mm. and your feet. Yeah, you've sent me your whole body. So props to you. You're very, very confident. Why? Yeah, and you're very good looking. I love a dad bod. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> Um, and proportionately, that cock, mm. I would say it's pretty, yeah, pretty damn good for your body. Um, you know, is he cut? He is. You've Which, got a lovely uh, yeah. circumcised yeah. penis, Homer. Right. And you've got a nice big mushroom suckable helmet head. <laughs> and that cock, it's nice and straight. Although the thing is, babe, is I can't give you a ten out of ten because you haven't. You've only sent me one photo. Oh. So I can't see all the different angles of your cock. I haven't seen mm. what it looks like when it's, you know, spurting that man juice. Mm. So maybe we might have to do another dick rating down the line where, uh, you know, you send me a few more pictures so I can give it a more accurate rating. But yeah. I'd probably give you a good nine out of ten, bibs. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I would say, I'd say it's a pretty, like, solid, decent dick. <laughs> um, I like the colour. <laughs> but I think yellow is pretty good. It's like you don't see many yellow penises anymore. Um, so yeah, um, jaundice is in. So I like it. Seven out of ten for Homer Simpson. Now the next one we have is it is he's like the guy this. from Mon- <laughs> The guy from Monsters Inc. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know. <laughs> to be what, honest, I'm getting a bit turned on. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't know what the name of that monster is. I, it's, it's, it's given me, it's given me like you know that that freak toys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it looks like something I've got in my dungeon. Like yeah, the like the alien dildos, whatever. So I would probably say that actually. Like I would, I would bring the Wolf Manor into it if I was doing the mm. stick rate, and I'd be like, oh, hey, Sully. Mm. <laughs> I believe that's his name, isn't it? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sullivan. Um, that cock. Wow, that looks just like something I've got in my dungeon. That big dragon dildo that I've got. Um, <laughs> Do you think it's furry? I would say this. No, it doesn't look furry. <laughs> so that cock is so big, it belongs in a fucking circus. Oh. Look at you, circus freak. You belong in a cage where I can poke and prod you. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say he's probably... I love that he's just, like, so jacked. As yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like, who the fuck drew this? Um, <laughs> um, 
I would say, yeah, that is a stupid big cock. Yeah. Um, I would say it's probably a bit too big, yeah. to be honest. So I would knock a few points off for it. Um, but it's interesting that the purple, the tip is purple and the rest is blue. I guess I'd give it, a, again, a 7 out of 10, I think. 7 out of 10. Yeah. Um, it, next up, we have... Um, <laughs> So this this hasn't been drawn by. This was actually in The Simpsons. <laughs> this was actually in The Simpsons. <laughs> no, this one actually was. That's a screenshot from the actual. So it's Ned Flanders. Oh, well, that's a little bit blur. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's how they've wrote. <laughs> yeah. That's how they've drawn That was in Ned the Flanders. actual Simpsons. So this is his yeah. actual... This yeah. isn't fanfic. This no. is a real... Well... <laughs> A real Simpson penis. Yes. So yeah, Ned Flanders is a uh, yeah. He's always drawn as being like mm. incredibly like ripped, isn't he? Yeah. He's like <clears throat> yeah. He's a bit of a like gay icon, I'd say. Ned Flanders, maybe. You know, he's got that oh, sort yes. of like yeah. Or like, mm. or you know, like the the whole thing of the quiet ones are always the worst. You know, like mm. he's like this goody goody two shoes, but then underneath it's like yes, he is God. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Ned Flan. I mean, apart from the fact that he doesn't know this photo is being taken, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so I feel slightly uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> um, Voyeurism. Mm. Let's let's pretend like he he posed for this. Yeah. <laughs> so Ned Flanders, yeah, we've got a little bit of armpit action there mm. with the, uh, you know, that's kind of that's kind of kinky. Yes, people do like armpits. Yeah. That is the thing. Lickable. Mm. Um, that stash does things to me, I can't lie. Mm. But if we're talking about the cock, yeah, Ned, you know, that looks like a grower. Yes. No, it looks like a shower, not oh, a grower. Oh, shower, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, that's already a there. long, flaccid penis. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I'd need to get a bit more detailed photos to mm. make an accurate rating because it is a little bit blurred. But it's funny how they, they've only blurred the top of it. Because it's so <laughs> long, it's like longer than the blur. <laughs> But yeah, a definitely a shower. Uh, yeah. Jeez, imagine how much it would grow to. Jesus. Right, let's do one more. Okay. Peter Griffin. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you think? <laughs> He's in a car with Paris <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it's shaven. That's my yeah. first... My first reaction mm. is like, you know, very pink, very shaven. Mm. There's not a single fucking ball hair no. on that sack. Um, again, it looks it looks cut, circumcised, unless yeah. the foreskin's pulled back and we don't see. But he's got a juicy mushroom head. Uh, looks relatively straight. Mm-hmm. Although I'm not sure, we'd have to see it hard because mm-hmm. I'm assuming this is a flaccid uh, penis. Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> I wonder if you can see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's difficult to, difficult to rate when it's flaccid. But mm. yeah, you, to be hasn't... honest, I'm not going to rate it very high because I really don't like it when men are like so closely shaved like that. I feel like yeah. I really like it when they're shaved. So that all the hair is the same length and it's mm. quite short, but I don't like it when like it's completely shaved because looks a bit yeah like, yeah mm. prepubescent or like a bit feminine maybe yeah like, yeah yeah um, I would probably give that one like yeah I mean it's hard to tell that it's oh, it's floppy I mean, six out of ten maybe I would say yeah but you know it has potential. It has potential. Yeah, I would say And we so. love a dad bod. Yeah. 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 Married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was one more. Um, Gaston from Beauty and the Beast, actually. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. So, firstly, this is more on my on my level with the, with the pubes. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, like this is bush. like... Yeah, so obviously his um, mm. his chest is quite hairy, is quite mm. long. If it was like that on his pubes, like I wouldn't be too happy. But the fact mm. that it is considerably less um, hairy on his dick, but there's still hair there. That's what mm. I like personally. Mm. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. I prefer hair. He's got really. a good yeah. body. Mm. I'm not sure that the era of Beauty and the Beast had the telephone technology <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for a selfie, but maybe yeah. I'm just being picky. <laughs> if you're going to do fan fiction, do it correctly. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, it should really be an oil painting rather than yeah. like a fucking selfie. But that was actually from like, I found that. It was like an article and someone had drawn, like this particular artist had drawn like all the Disney princes. Oh, really? As d- in their nudes. And I was but like, wow. it's, it's, it looks a bit like a, oh, well, actually, I was going to say a Tinder photo, but I guess mm, maybe more no. of a grinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a grinder photo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't post nudes on Tinder. No, you can't. No. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> Are you banned from the dating apps? Yeah. yeah every you? single one. But the thing is, it's like, I've, I, I recently, well, when I say recently, maybe last year, um tried to go back on one mm-hmm. and they like with a different number and stuff because mm. i've been banned from it before but i tried to go back on with like a different number and then people as report yourself. me as a catfish yeah, yeah but they report me as a catfish uh, because okay. they think they're like oh well Lana, that can't be the real lana wolf mm. so they all report me and i'm like so I get yeah. I get deleted as a catfish. I'm like, but no, it's me. Oh. But then I, I mean I've tried to verify myself and stuff, but nah, they're just not having any of it. I think they know that I'm an OnlyFans bird, so they're like, nah, fuck right. off. I've I'm I've not I've not actually been banned from dating apps. No. I banned myself from them. <laughs> this is just fucking depressing. <laughs> Ban myself, but yeah, no, no, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a successful mm. date on a... No. App. I realised the other day, I was like, I've, I had been using dating apps for like 10 years. And I was yeah. like, and I was like, I hadn't actually ever really met anyone I liked on there. So I was mm. like, maybe it's not working. Yeah. So maybe just stop. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you recently, you've been doing some more like professional porn right you were just shot with browsers yes yeah, so i just won an award actually oh so my, my first my first ever uh porn scene like mm. a professional porn scene that i did was for browsers with danny d and it was called porn oh, stars in space know. and i actually yeah. won the it was like the best feature sex scene of the whole of europe oh my god so i was like super buzzed about that i was like oh my god i can't believe like i must actually be pretty good at this yeah so i kind of thought you know, it's that that old like OnlyFans debate. It's like, do we do the professional porn or do mm. we just stay on OnlyFans? But I don't know. I think I'm still doing well on OnlyFans, even though I've done porn. So I thought, yeah. why not? Like, yeah. it's only gonna, you know, keep me mm. relevant. I guess if I'm mm. like working. So I'm definitely wanting to to do more. Yeah. Who would you wanna? Any dream? people you want to shoot with people that i want to work with um not really i mean obviously Mm. there's like you know big stars over in america but i haven't really done enough like research into everything but i guess for now in europe Mm. i'd like to work i'd like to do like the big ones like vixen tushy okay yeah uh, slade blacked Mm -hmm. i'd like to work with those companies as far as performers i'm I'm not sure i'll just yeah you, you don't get to pick no you don't get to pick so uh yeah they when would... people ask me before they're like oh who's your like dream porn star or like who's a porn star you love to? i was like i actually don't really know many i was like mm-hmm. i was like i think like like you know sort of old school one well, not old school because they're like she's probably like the same age but like riley reed or something mm-hmm. yeah, I think so. yeah but i was thinking i was like recently i was like i don't really i don't mean i was like when i watch porn i normally just watch like <laughs> amateur shit like yeah you know or like yeah, I know obviously loads of OnlyFans people, but I don't know. I don't know of many like pro. I actually don't watch like mm. proper porn. I watch no. like cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I'm a porn star, I just it doesn't turn me on because yeah. I know it's all fake. So I'm like, do you know what I watched the other day? Goblin porn. <laughs> I should see some. I saw someone like Pornhub, and I was Did like, you? I was like, okay, I'll watch it, and it was like <laughs> goblin breeding. And it was like really weird. Oh, that doesn't even sound legal. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was animated. It wasn't like real because right. goblins don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I did, I did watch it, and I was like, I was like, am I into this? I don't know. I am really I like. <laughs> oh, I'd love to do. Um, what is the website called? 
there's one where they specialize in like quite hardcore kink stuff with like tentacles and oh. laying eggs and all this kind of stuff i'd love to do something wacky like that mm. like really sci-fi sci-fi and wacky and cool um yeah and i'd like to also do something like um the english mansion you know where uh, i'm a dom because mm-hmm. this is interestingly a lot of the professional well in fact 100 percent of the professional porn that i've done so far i haven't been dom i've ah, been uh, okay yeah whereas i think like i'm very dom in my everyday kind of yeah. life so i guess it would be cool to do uh, dom stuff as well but i i guess i i guess i'm a switch because it really depends like Mm. I can definitely submit as well, um, mm. which I tend to do on this on set. But yeah, I did um, I did a bunch of porn in Budapest last year. The scenes haven't come out yet. Okay, and it was it, it was interesting because um, going back to what we were saying before, like about not even knowing who you're going to be working with. Like I literally turned up on set, I had no idea who I was working with. Oh really? Yeah, like obviously, I I, I was told like before, who, mm. you know the names and stuff, but. Mm. It's just you just kind of turn up don't you and you're like oh hi yeah <laughs> so you're gonna be fucking me today right yeah. yeah like one of the guys i was working with has no social media presence as well so it's not like i could even like look him up okay yeah mm. so yeah i feel like that made me really <clears throat> nervous does it make you nervous no no, no just that, yeah. not at all i was more nervous of coming on the podcast <laughs> than i am trying <laughs> yeah. to do a professional <laughs> honestly <laughs> like maybe i should be doing this naked and i would yeah, feel more yeah, comfortable yeah. well i mean i i mean i am pretty like yeah i guess <laughs> my content i don't know where it could have gone today i could have done something really weird and been like lana this oh, is oh we still have time we've yeah. got the props yeah. we've got- <laughs> <laughs> i am um, oh i've got to ask you this because i feel like this is something people always want to know from only fans creators mm-hmm. what's your weirdest requests what is the weirdest thing you've ever been asked to do and you're like wow that is kind of weird um farting is a little bit out there i've, but... I've been had a lot of farting requests recently yeah yeah but it's so easy i remember my first ever farting custom i actually w- waited until I needed to fart and then I was like and then if I farted and I forgot to film it I'd be like damn I forgot <laughs> I just lost money and then I realised that all you need to do is get you know like a douche for when you douche oh, okay, for when you do yeah. ill like just squirt air up your ass and then you can fart on command oh top tip top tip for everyone who's always wanted to fart on for command all of- <laughs> 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 for screen. all of my fart enthusiasts yeah, out yeah. there just the, oh. um, eyes mm. open underwater so i recently did a video because i was getting a few requests Mm. for like underwater stuff i did a video uh yeah i saw i saw like underwater it's one of my best selling videos on many vids so weird and i wasn't even 100 percent sure how it was going to go down but Mm. it sold like loads i know i didn't know that's not one i've like really heard of it's a yeah Yeah. um but the number one request that i get is things to do with uh celtic tops right so obviously i'm a rangers fan the big Mm. rival celtic i get a lot of celtic fans that want me to degrade spit on cut up rip up piss on celtic tops and i will never do it because i feel like it's crossing a line potentially wow. um oh. so i don't want to be seen as like a hateful yeah kind of mm. in- instigating hatred does that right. make sense yeah. um i play on the rivalry a lot sorry i play on the rivalry a lot mm. but i don't want to be seen as like hateful or right. sectarian uh, so okay. i don't do anything really mm. degrading towards the selling tops <laughs> also you would be getting through so many tops like, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I'm, there's no way in hell i'm buying a celtic top and, like, yeah, yeah. i'm putting money in that club no yeah, way yeah. And, yeah i've had people send me them though like i've got one mm. I, I do have a celtic top in my house oh god Mm-mm. you know all, for you, all for my rangers gifts. fans yeah, are gonna yeah, yeah, cancel yeah. me now but no I, i've got one in my house mm. which has got sissy on the back right okay. which uh one of my slaves bought and had customized mm. so we keep it in the house for for filming the old farm videos but yeah yeah okay i think the weird i think the weirdest the only i've had a couple of weird ones where i was these was this was like not on only i feel like people on only fans are quite vanilla like 
I don't get mm-hmm. too many. I think I used to like sell my underwear on a website like years ago. Mm. I can't even remember what the website was called, but I'd get a lot of weird requests on there. And I remember one was just like, um, wear trainers and clothes and just like step on a bunch of gummy sweets. <laughs> like that was just it. I was just like stepping on gummy sweets, wasn't saying anything, wasn't doing, just like that's like giant test fetish, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit. Mm. Yeah, it's a and it's like a smushing, mm. a smushing thing. Oh okay. Yeah, and I remember I also had one where some someone was like, "Can you blow up a balloon till it pops?" And I was like, "That's actually kind of impossible." I'm, I can't really <laughs> do that. Like, like you're sat there, yeah, like, out of breath, rage. Yeah, that you, probably, I'd probably like, pass out. Yeah, that's probably what they're like. Yeah, you just just have a pen like <laughs> hidden somewhere You're like, <gasps> that's a good idea <gasps> okay so that my, my might <laughs> yes so pin in a balloon and then douche up the bum for farting mm. is all great tools that people will definitely need to learn uh for their general life yeah yeah we all need to fart on command and pretend we just burst a balloon <laughs> useful life skills <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, the dick ratings is the number one thing that oh, I get yeah, asked dick to do. Ratings, yeah. It's always it's always dick ratings, mm. literally. Like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, men don't mean to generalise men. Sorry, it's the man in the room. Men like to talk about their cocks. I think, guys, or they like to sort of think about them. <laughs> mm. Yeah. If you're a man and you had a cock, what do you think would be the first thing you'd do? Take photos of it and send it to an OnlyFans girl to write it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I would pee everywhere. <laughs> I was like, get. I do I'm... that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All over my face. <laughs> <laughs> like, open your mouth. I would like, I would just, yeah, I think I would just aim it sort of around <laughs> the place. Because of course mine would be huge. If I had a penis. So do you know what I always think looks really hot? is like, mm. you know, um, guys, when they use a flashlight... Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Be, seen I mean, so I mean, I don't think it's like hot to watch, but like, I, I think it'd be, feel nice to use a flashlight. I just well, so somebody I was thinking about this the other day because somebody sent me mm. a video on OnlyFans. Mm. I was doing like a rating situation, and I I'd, I'd requested a video, and they sent me a video of fucking a flashlight, and I looked at it, and like, I was like. I don't know that kind of looks hot like to me that looks hot I don't know like you want to do it yeah like I was like yeah. I wish uh, yeah I wish I had a dick so I could see yeah. what that felt like like because you know it's literally like a made pussy like it's made to feel yeah. good like or I'd like it put, must feel so great I would definitely put mine in like a melon or something <laughs> like see what that feels like yeah yeah, I don't think it's gonna be. It's gonna feel as good as a, as a like a specifically as yeah. Made, uh, it also like yeah. I don't know if it might get like yeah. Also, I don't want to like promote food waste. So as long as you ate it afterwards, then it'd be fine. Yeah. Um, or fed it to a willing participant. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. And you probably find one. So I have I have my followers. My followers. There's a running theme. A lot of my followers have a lot of issues. Um, oh no! I mean, this is why. I mean, this is why they watch my content because mm-hmm. they've got issues. And um, I asked some of them to send in some of their dating issues. Okay. Dating issues. Okay. Yeah. And so I thought maybe we could try and answer some of them and give yeah. some advice. So, um, oh, actually, one of them is from a woman. A woman Ooh. sent this in, like a, like a woman talking about men. So not, ju- it's not just, a lot of the ones I get sent in is like, oh my, I want to get my dick wet. Mm. But this is a woman. <laughs> yeah, okay. So she says, <clears throat> crying over a guy who has severe commitment issues, says he wants me but can't act like it. What would you say to her? Sorry, so she's crying over a guy with commitment issues. He says that he wants her, but he what, he's just, he's not showing it. Like in his actions, he's I'm not guessing. showing it in his actions. Mm. But okay, but he is. Are they to? Are they together? No. Sounds like this sounds like a situation ship to me. I think actions speak louder than words. Mm. Definitely. So, if it is a case that he's not showing you those actions, so like, if he is being unreliable, like if you're asking him to be there at a certain time for something because it means a lot to you or something like that, um, regardless of whether you're in a committed relationship or not like even if 
on a friendship level like friends mm. should be reliable so i that's what i judge men on yeah <laughs> is how how reliable how much i can rely on somebody to be there um to help me out or yeah or whatever or if it's something that means a lot to me or just even if you're you know you've you've planned to to hang out and watch ne- like netflix and chill like if you say come for seven because I'm, we're gonna eat food together don't turn up at midnight and then like I, so if that happens i would just cancel it completely mm. i would be like no well if you're late you're late that's mm. it fuck off you're not coming in but yeah i think girls sometimes kind of have a habit of not not not, not generalizing all, all girls but sometimes girls will like let guys get away with stuff and then obviously you need to show with your actions Mm. that you're not going to put up with that behavior so should she get a gimp i mean that could solve a few problems apart from gimps are the same you need to be able to rely on them so it's the same like um if if the gimp is not coming (laughs) when they say they are then i would i wouldn't give them more than like one chance or two chances it is the old but, saying you always need a reliable gimp that is but gimps are great say. because you don't have to like you don't really have to do anything to them like you just make mm. them do all the things that you want yeah and then if they were to be like oh well i want this you'd be like well, f- you're a gimp you, <laughs> you haven't got no say in anything yeah so shut up like get on the fucking floor and start cleaning again you know, so that that that's the great thing about having a gimp. So I definitely recommend that any girl has one. Mm. Yeah, they are very helpful. And like, if you if you are having boyfriend trouble and you are a little bit heartbroken and you don't want to be on your own, then your gimp will keep you company. Oh my god! They'll that uh, is... serve you drinks, make your food. Oh my god! You crack the code. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Christ. Yeah, definitely gonna. After this, I'm gonna traipse the streets of london and find myself a gimp i think <laughs> sounds really sick <laughs> yeah yeah would highly recommend everyone else do that yeah. um, <laughs> so oh oh this one's a bit me and my girlfriend have been dating for a year and i still don't know how to tell her i have herpes doesn't everyone have herpes <laughs> Well, yeah, we all carry. <laughs> some, we all carry something. No, we? but I'm pretty sure, like in 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 to, in today's life, mm. like young people who are sexually active, like I'm pretty sure everyone has it or everyone carries it or something like that. Yeah, just some people. Are, some one... people are really unlucky and they have like outbreaks all the time. Yeah, my so mom actually if, has outbreaks. Of it. Like, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, I, she I know somebody. It. I know somebody in the industry that that gets outbreaks all the time, and I'm like, that's so sad. Like, yeah. So I guess if, if you're someone that has outbreaks all the time, like, you're going to have to bring it up, aren't you? Yeah. We should probably bring he, it up but anyway. He obviously doesn't get them that often if they've been dead for a year and he hasn't said... Yeah. Surely you can't hide it, can you? No. And just, um, yeah, you can't pass it on unless you're on an outbreak. So... Mm. I mean, I, I just, I just assume everyone really does it anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do, um, mm. It's a, uh, it's, it's one of those things in the porn industry, like it's like the dirty secret of the porn industry. Everyone has herpes when no one speaks about it. But honestly, yeah, I, I don't can't... even think it's just the porn industry. Like, er, er, like all young people, like, okay, I shouldn't say all, but mm. no, you, yeah, my, yeah. Wow. I don't think it's like you shouldn't be embarrassed about it or ashamed about it. Like mm. people use it as like an insult and a dirty word, and it really isn't. It's literally just a thing that yeah, like people have. If you're unlucky enough to get a outbreak all the time, then yeah, I don't know. I mm. I, I don't know because I I don't. So mm. I don't know. I can't give any advice on that. But how would you tell a partner? Oh, God, I don't know. Why are you asking me the hard question, <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Lana? What? How should he treat his herpes? How should he... <laughs> mm. Just... I think... Yeah, just don't make it a big deal. Just by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or maybe wait until you're on an outbreak and they'll be like, babe, what the fuck's happened to my dick? Oh my God, that's actually quite a good idea. Yeah, yeah I'd yeah. be like, oh my God, what is this? What yeah. is this? And then the girl might be like, oh no, don't worry, babe, it's fine. You're just having a little herpes outbreak. Yeah. I get them too. You know, she might have it too. You just don't know because you haven't spoke about it. That is good advice, actually. Yeah. Yes. So, (laughs) another um, one is women hate me. (laughs) You probably deserve it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried being less of a loser? 
Um, yeah. I don't know. What, what we the need? common factor here, like the common denominator <laughs> here, in every single go- girl hates you, <laughs> that you are the co- <laughs> you are the common denominator. Like there is a problem with you. Yeah, it might be a you issue. Yeah, I would say so. If every yeah. single g- girl hates you. Um, yeah. Was there any more context? To no, that it's just women it's just... hate me. I think right, I would yeah. say to him, I would say maybe try and get some hobbies. I don't know, like try and be a bit more like of a well-rounded individual. Maybe you know, like have interests, <laughs> and then and then you might make yourself more interesting. But what if he? What if he gets like? What if he's just like really hardcore interested in something like really lame though? Like, <laughs> like war and, it, or something. Yeah, and yeah. it makes girls hate him even more. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm only joking. No, if you if you're passionate about something, it mm. makes you sexy because passion mm. is sexy. Yeah. He could be passionate about knitting, but as long as he's really passionate about it, like I think girls That's will kind good, of yeah. be they'll be like, What? You don't want to go to the cinema with me? You wanna go to knitting club? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Let's go out and shag some more do you know what i mean girls love that Mm. they love that shit you're good at this you're good at advice i think (laughs) yeah no yeah and also yeah um make sure you shower regularly that's always good (laughs) good thing i think yeah i mean that's like number one is like look look at yourself and Mm. look at you know if if there's smell yourself yeah (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah. make sure all is okay Mm mm-hmm well, weirdly enough, the episode we had before, we just filmed with the other guest, we mentioned he believes he shouldn't have to taste his own cum. Do you think men should taste their own cum at some point? I think they all have. And if they say they haven't, they're lying. Oh, so this is a it's like when out. people say It's like <laughs> when people say they don't pick their nose. Surely <laughs> everyone picks their nose now and again. So, <laughs> yeah. So... This is a call out to any men that have said they've never tasted their own cum. You have. You're a liar. You have. Whether you have a fetish for it or not, you have done it. Yeah. I genuinely believe that. Even, like, by accident. By accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe just, like, shoots. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I know what you accidents mean. Accidents happen. Shooting. Yeah. I've done that before. <laughs> right. Not with semen, but... The yeah. <laughs> yeah. The female equivalent. That'd be a shock. It's yeah, just yeah. Gone, yeah. And I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting it to go... Mm. In my face and into my mouth. Yeah, so you never know what might happen. I mean, if I was a man and I had peanuts, I would, yeah, I would definitely... I would try... Would you, would you... Weeing into my mouth. <laughs> you try and wee in your mouth. <laughs> and spunk in your mouth. Yeah. Probably. All the bodily fluids. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Cool. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Um, um, some so someone else has said me being in my 30s and women in their 30s not knowing what they want still I mean that's sorry so the guy's in his 30s and he's saying that girls in their 30s don't know what they want what they want and he says he doesn't know what he wants so he just sounds this sounds like an impossible situation yeah a man that doesn't know what he wants and a woman Mm. that doesn't know what she wants Mm. well then you can't decide on what What you you want want. yeah so i don't know i guess just keep shagging until you figure it out i would say try some hobbies (laughs) more hobbies Hobbies always help everything. If ever I say someone's having an issue, just try a new hobby. And when you have a hobby, you might find more of what you want. Is this a girlfriend and a boyfriend? Or is this just... No, I think he's just generalising people in general. Like, Oh, so like, what advice would you give to men and women who don't know what they yeah. want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I would... I agree with you. Mm. Um, trying, and, trying hobbies. Mm. I recently... Um, went to thailand as i told you and oh, i start yes. and i did scuba diving mm-hmm. and i literally did scuba diving for like like a try it's called a try dive okay and i loved it so much that i changed the rest of my trip went to an island called Koh Tao, and i did a like a literally a qualification and mm. um i did like a course in scuba diving and then i came home back to scotland realized that there's a dive place like 10 minutes mm. from where i live and now i'm going to be doing it here and i've like started to meet new friends and it's quite difficult as an adult to meet mm. friends um and there are friends that aren't in the industry because i've got loads of friends in the industry yeah. obviously but this is like you definitely real people yeah, yeah. <laughs> civilians yeah um and 
I, yeah, I was, I was having this conversation with one of my friends um, the other day and I was like, yeah, it's just crazy how having a hobby mm. has like opened up all this for me as an adult. So yeah, from experience, definitely try doing different things because you have no idea whether you try something and it's going to change your life. Like yeah, I've Diamond definitely has made for me. like friends as an adult through hobbies. Mm. It's definitely a good thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So use a douche in your ass if you need to fart <laughs> and get more hobbies. Yeah. I think that's a good message. Yeah. Yeah. Um Okay. So I think that's kind of mostly what we have time for today. Okay. But can you tell the people where they can like I mean I'll put all your links down below mm-hmm. but you know where they can find you what what you're doing I mean you know uh okay so my main socials are Lana Wolf UK mm-hmm. on everything pretty much um yeah TikTok Instagram mm-hmm. Twitter mm-hmm. Lana Wolf XXX on Twitter if you're over 18 <laughs> yeah and OnlyFans Lana Wolf Many vids, Lana Wolf. <laughs> Lana Wolf, mm. Google me. You'll find some interesting stuff. And have you got any parting messages for the gimps and the simps at home? Anything you Subscribe think they should know? Subscribe to me. Yeah. I will look after you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we're also going to... Manor beckons. We're also going to film something today, aren't we? Yes, so, we are. So, yeah. So, keep an eye out for I have that. got a suitcase full of lube, latex, and dildos. Including my big strap on. Oh, I thought we were going to play Scrabble. Oh, well, you thought oh. wrong. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. What have I got myself into? <laughs> Maybe some naked twister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really want to play a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, we could, we could uh, like, play Monopoly or something. Like, naked, I mean, I we mean. could, yeah, film it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm if sure anyone would watch fun. it, but... <laughs> <laughs> like it's like three hours long. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. It's like Park Street. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me today, thank you for Lana. Me. It's been a pleasure having you. And goodbye to everyone at home. Bye. 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 Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>